Welcome to Rock Painting Workshops and today we're uh, creating a little colour in rock and this one is a cute little monkey that I've drawn onto my rock and uh, you can have a look at my previous videos and things like that and I definitely show you how I got the image onto the rock with drawing with my pencil and then doing the outlines uh, with my fine line acrylic paint pen. Uh, you can also grab our course which is 50, there's over 50 video tutorials that show you how to do everything you need to need to know about rock painting. Not just the simple colour in uh, rock, we have lots of different um, videos for you to have a look at and you can grab that on our website. It's $10 and we donate the whole $10 to charity. So what I'm doing here, I'm up to what I call step two, which is colouring in, putting the colour on your rock. And all we're going to do is a nice thin layer of color and just put that all over the rock. And you can see that uh, the first layer is always the hardest. It doesn't come out perfect, uh, even, and all the rest of it, because depending on how porous the rock is, is going to depend on how much of the paint might slightly soak in to the rock. Uh, this rock's not too bad. It's quite a shiny surface, this one, so it's, uh, not ex perfectly even but it is fairly even but you can see here that uh, there'll be a nice thin line a lot of people try and get that finished look straight up on the first coat and the thing is when you do that you have a lot of chance that you're going to block up your paint pens uh, if you're using paint it will just go all blobby so what you want to do whether you're using paint pens or whether you're using acrylic paint and a brush you just want to keep a nice thin even layer on that first coat and don't worry about it the second coat will definitely make it all look uh, even and, and quite nice but you can see even on the left side there I touched my brown against my yellow while they were still wet and there's been a bit of a bleed there that's another thing with acrylic paint pens the joy of that is when it's dry I can just put brown straight on top of it and it won't be a problem. So there's one layer of acrylic paint pens sitting on my rock. Okay now I wasn't going to bore you to tears and do the second coat but we're now two coats in. You can see that the brown I coloured in straight over it once the yellow was um, dry where it bled I just coloured in straight over that with the brown. So we're going to do some shading. I've got some water and I've dipped my paintbrush in the water and I just wiped off any excess onto a cloth I've just got off to the right and touched it on top of a darker shade of brown, acrylic paint pen. I just touched it on the top. You can see this is how I do it. Pick up some of the darker colour and I just smoosh that around on my rock. But you can see when I'm dipping it in the water and my cloth's just off to the right, doesn't really, everything doesn't fit in the camera, camera frame. But when it's too wet, I'm always just wipe it on my microfiber cloth just to take off any excess. Now there's no perfect shading, you know, lines or anything like that. I just kind of smush it around and I'm happy with that. So now I've got, I'm making my outline and I've gone back to my fine line acrylic paint pen and I'm just going to go around the edges which is what I do with my colouring in rocks. I take everything around the edges, give them a nice outline and go off the line just like I did there so there you go, evened it up. <laughs> you can see I just do not fuss too much. These just turn out so cute that it doesn't really matter. Made a little bit of a line mistake on one ear so I just threw that on the other ear so they matched. Now they're meant to be. So you can just keep going around your edges. Okay, draw his little face in there. Now you gotta think about it like talking and painting and Put in a big thick line there for his nose. In goes his mouth. He's going to be a big smiley monkey. Going to be happy with that. 
And the little eyes really work on these characters because they're quite a small rock and that works out really well. I'm just checking for any lines that I haven't put in yet. Okay, now to match up this curly tail. And down we go. Yeah, that's near enough. I mean, the hardest thing that when you're trying to draw your lines in your rock is when you've got bumpy rocks, right? Little divots and things. And that's why I just don't get too fussy because it just doesn't matter. I've just got a little bit of area that I want to hide. So I just wanted to hide a little bit of the black pen there. And I've just missed a little bit on the side of his face. So I'm just going to color in. Yeah. Okay. I like that. All right, so what we'll do then is take your white pen and we're just going to add in little dots into his eyes. These are just highlights, wherever you think that the light's going to hit the monkey. Throw in a few white dots and dashes and this just gives a little bit of light reflection onto your, onto your rock. Adds a little bit of interest, a little bit of fun. On all my, uh, like my cartoon drop rocks, I just do it that way and then of course the coral pen to do his cheeks pop the color on while it's wet just quickly dab it up and down and it just gives a little bit of a washy look not too much of a solid look and he's done so come and share your cute little monkeys over on facebook in our group reef Rocks free workshops i'll see you there and look forward to seeing your cute little monkey